How's it? This is Mark Kyle, and I'm going to be working with equations more in Microsoft Excel. Uh, what I have here is a spreadsheet. Uh, go ahead and just fill in the information in the appropriate cells, and you can resize accordingly. For the names, though, uh, put in your own names. I just put in names from my favorite basketball team, Mavericks, but you can put in your own. Otherwise, everything else should be the same. Um, after you've done that, let's go ahead and bold our title. Okay. And also what we're going to do is bold the headings here. And we're going to bring them down to 9 size. Okay, We're also going to bold coupons and price per cone because these are our headers. Okay, um, We're also going to insert a new row in front of A1. So control click and then you can hit insert. And we're going to number these. And instead of going 1, 2, 3, don't finish 4 or 5. Just highlight and drag down 4 or 5. When you highlight, make sure you hit that little box right there. And then remember to auto size your column, double click, and then it um, goes in right from there. Okay? So we're going to take our ice cream orders from your friends. All right. So then take their orders, how many they want. So he wants. Two, Marianne will take one, Terry will take one. Dirk's hungry, he's been playing a lot of games, and Tyson will take three. Okay, now we're gonna get a price. Uh, price per cone is three US dollars, so we're gonna highlight this and go to format, cells, and we're gonna choose currency, US, two decimal places, and okay. Okay, now what we're gonna do is get the price um, to do the price you have equal sign we're gonna have an equation and we're gonna click on a cell reference and that's gonna be D4 and that's gonna multiply by and that's gonna be um, E11 and you're gonna hit enter so it is six dollars okay now uh, to copy this down remember it's not gonna work because we didn't um, Assign cell absolute cell reference value. Notice that D4 is the same, but look, D5 is good, but look, E12 got copied down. So that number needs to stay the same. So right here, we're going to highlight that and we're going to hit dollar signs. That doesn't turn into a price, it just means that's not going to change. Copy it down, and now we have our prices. Now we're going to have our discount at this uh, ice cream shop. Now the discount, we're going to use an if-then statement because they have a little promotion going on. Okay, So in your function, type in if and then double click that. Now, here it is. The function is if they order more than or ten dollars or more, then they're going to get fifty percent off their order. But if they only order less than that, then they're only going to get 10% of a discount. So see if you can figure that out. If you can't figure it out, then keep watching. Um, so my reference value 1 is going to be here, because I'm going to be looking at um, if this price, okay? If this price is greater than or equal to, okay? And we said $10. So I'm going to put in 10. Uh, dollars okay then it's gonna be a discount of 50% so it'll be this times 50% uh, okay else so if it's not greater than or equal to ten dollars this and we're gonna multiply that by 10% okay and now we're ready to go so we're going to hit enter, okay, and so here's our discount right here. We have our discounted amount, we're going to make that uh, currency, and instead of going up to format currency, we already have currency right here for US, so just click on this, hit format, and then click on that, and then it gives us the discount in US dollar, copy it down, and we're done with our discount, okay. So um, we can also get the total price then so if we click this click on G 
insert, okay, and then uh, uh, total equals this minus this, enter, and there's our total. We can copy that down, and now we have our total price, okay, and now what we can do is, uh, remember I said they're, they're going to have a major promotion. Not only do you get a discount, but if you buy something, you also get a coupon that you can use for next time. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to hide these because I don't need to see them right now. Okay. Um, actually, what you're going to do is hide G through D. Now, now what we're going to do is we're going to see uh, we have the big wheel that when they come into the store they see this big wheel with numbers on it and they spin the wheel and if it hits on a certain number they get a certain coupon. So if it's a one they get a free cone, it's a two, it's a buy one get one and so on. So to do this we're going to use the choose function. Okay, So go ahead and search for choose and now um, so for example, Jason spins the wheel and he hits a five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. That would mean try again. We didn't get anything. So let's go ahead and make our equation. So our index number that it's gonna look up is this number. It's gonna say, okay, when that number hits a certain number, value one, okay, value one. That means if it's a one, it's gonna equal free cone. Okay, if it's a value two, it's gonna be buy one, get one. Value three, and so on, free drink. Value 4 buys up, and value 5, which is what Jason just uh, got, was try again. So notice how it all lines up, and it's verified, and we're good to go. We hit enter, so now let's try again. Now, remember we need to make these absolute cell reference values, because if we copy it down, B11 will become B12, and B15 will become B16, and everything will be messed up. Okay, so go ahead and add your cell reference values. You can hit tab uh, to go to the next cell. And we're good. Now we can hit enter. Okay, and then we can copy this equation down. Now it's going to say an error because there's no values here. So let's say, Marion, you're up. Spin that wheel. And he spins a two. Oh, he gets a buy one, get one. And next is Terry. He spins a three. Oh, free drink for you. And then, oh, he spins a two, buy one, get one. Oh, he spins a one, free cone. So you get the idea. But then, now they feel sorry for Jason because he got a five and try again. So it's like, all right, Jason, come on, spin that wheel one more time. So he spins that wheel and he gets a four. Now you get size up, okay? And now they're like, oh, wait, we're out of drinks. Sorry, no longer free drinks. It's going to be... We do have a lot of teddy bears, though. We'll give you a free teddy bear. So you get a free teddy bear because it's Valentine's Day today. And you got a free teddy. Notice it automatically you changed it. So that's if then. So um, let's format this. Remember to unhide. Um, highlight the two columns around it. Hit unhide. Make sure we have our currencies and so on. And we do. <clears throat> uh, now we see it, it's US dollar. If this was going to be a different currency, we can go up to format cells and go to our currency, and then you can change the symbol, and it can be a different symbol. So you can change that as well. Okay, so um, that's how we do ice cream orders.